The 20th century was marred by an epic tragedy, the genocide of six million European Jews. The Holocaust was systematically planned and executed by the Nazi party in Germany. Its mission was the mass extermination of a people belonging to an enduring religion. Antisemitism started with the historical hatreds within Christianity. But as long as it was within the church, the church always accepted the very basic belief that everyone had the right to exist because everyone was created by the image of God. The Nazis didn't believe in Christianity, so they took the hatreds and transformed it to a decision to annihilate the Jews because for them, annihilating a human being was not a problem. They didn't believe in God. After the Nazis were defeated and the Holocaust ended, the Jewish survivors were given back their ancient homeland. In 1948, the rebirth of Israel began. But there were many labor pains involved in rebuilding the country. A survivor recently phrased it in a very meaningful way for me. He said it's from genocide to genesis. What happened to us when the country was established, that instead of being refugees, wandering, going around for 2,000 years, we came back to our homeland. We came back to a place where we can build our own life, a place where we can be a nation again, a place from which we can rebuild our relations with other nations, a place from where we can overcome all our sad period and rebuild a positive future with humanity. Six decades later, Israel is still fighting for its existence. Some Christian leaders are concerned about the global rise of anti-Semitism threatening the survival of Israel and the Jewish people. Their reason is rooted in the Bible. Anti-Semitism is an attack against God because the Jewish people represent God in their life and history. That's the message of the book of Esther, where there was a systematic attempt to liquidate the Jewish people because they prayed to the God of Israel. Several benevolent ministries are providing support and comfort to Israel and the Jewish people worldwide. The International Christian Embassy Jerusalem is one such ministry. From our inception, we've had a clear biblical mandate based on Isaiah 40 verse 1 to comfort the Jewish people because of the long centuries of a legacy of Christian anti-Semitism. We now want to show the true face of Jesus and be engaged in deeds that are meet for repentance that show we're truly sorry for what was done to them in the past. Churches are being challenged to reject all forms of anti-Semitism. They are building a new relationship with the Jewish people based on mutual respect. The historical grounds for anti-Semitism within the church have been what we've called replacement theology. It is a sad fact that the last book that Martin Luther wrote was called Against Jews and Their Lies. This particular book became fodder for the Nazi regime in their attempt to destroy the Jewish people. To help remedy the effects of anti-Semitism, many Christians worldwide are volunteering too. They are bringing blessings by providing practical social service assistance to the needy in Israel. Our aid program helps meet social needs through a variety of projects and programs across Israel. The need in Israel is very great with 20% of the population on or below the poverty line. We do this in coordination with social agencies and organizations who work in every sector of the society. And these programs uh, cover a range of things, including soup kitchens, food distribution projects, educational projects, heaters and blankets in the wintertime, and a multitude of other uh, needs that are coming across our desk every day. It's a pleasure and an honor to be able to assist, and we're glad to be here to do that. To reciprocate, leading Israeli institutions are partnering with Christian organizations in building bridges for a better tomorrow. One of the miracles in our generation is the sea change which has taken place, a change in which the Christian Jewish community, the mother-child religions, have come together after close to 2,000 years of enmity. And the fact is that we have an institute 
for a Jewish Christian understanding and cooperation, which has regular dialogues, regular discussions on the highest of theological levels. We must have a united voice of religion for peace. The International Christian Embassy Jerusalem represents Bible-believing Christians in more than 125 countries. We are at the forefront of a growing Christian movement that provides comfort, support, and solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people. Since our founding in 1980, the ICEJ has been educating Christians about God's promise and purpose for Israel and its people. According to the Bible, to destroy Israel is to destroy God's purpose for the world. It is abundantly clear from the Word of God that a glorious future awaits the whole world because the Bible teaches in Isaiah chapter 2 that from this city there will be a rule and a dispensation for the world wherein men will learn war no more. The ICEJ implores all Christians to repent for their historic role in persecuting Jews. We have received many awards in Israel for our volunteer service to make amends. Our good deeds include airlifts for Jews seeking refuge in Israel and funding for school playgrounds. The people in Shevet Shamron are much appreciative of the wonderful and generous support that the uh, International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem has given them. The playground equipment and the, uh, the, the park's gardens have made a tremendous uh, change in their lives. Every Israeli town has been impacted by ICEJ's benevolent ministry. Our members are caring for the elderly, healing the sick, and housing the poor. We do get donations from the embassy for the holidays. Uh, we get food for the poor people, especially for the holidays, Rosh Hashanah and, and Pesach, and uh, we need the help for the families who are very needy. Many Israeli institutions benefit from our support. Make the ICEJ your embassy in Jerusalem. Join today and be a blessing to Israel. Let the Jewish people know you stand with them. The ICEJ is a marvelous example of Christian Jewish cooperation, especially on humanitarian projects. The truth is that whenever it comes to humanitarian needs, ICEJ is right there, standing four square at our side. I'd like to invite you to become a partner with the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem as we seek to be a comfort and a blessing to the Jewish people. Please visit our website or get on our mailing list and stand with us as we seek to bless this people, remembering that the Word of God says, I will bless those who bless you. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support, your love, and your encouragement. To join and become a blessing in Israel, call 888-778-JERUSALEM and visit JerusalemEmbassy.org.